Hi, well, it's great to see you today. It's um, Wednesday and I think it's the 30th of September. I can't believe tomorrow is now, ah, excuse me, October. Uh, so yesterday you kind of, you met my friend here, Buzz Lightyear. And I know Pastor Francis, his son, um, saw him hit there in Rwanda and said about Superman. But I haven't got Superman, but I have got one of my other friends here, one of the minions. So here we go. So hello. Hello, Mr. Minion. So there we go. He's going to go back up there and uh, watch over us to keep us uh, keep us company there. Uh, so there we go. A little throwback to um, in my grand the room, one of the rooms my grandkids stays in in the house. So yesterday we looked at verses 14 and 15. When I think of this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. And verse 16 says this, I pray from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Let's read that bit again. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. So first thing to say really is this, is that God has, um, he, he's all powerful. He's all powerful. He's all knowing and he can be everywhere all at the same time. He has these amazing resources in heaven. You know, it tells us in Psalms that the the, um, the was it the, the cattle on a thousand hills are his. God has infinite resources. God sp remember God spoke and the world came into being. Think about heaven. Heaven, it's is it, you know, uh, we used to just, we used to think heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. But also, it's a place where it says about it says that the the streets are made with gold. There's there's no suffering. There's no you know, there's no pain there. It's an amazing place, and that God has all these amazing heavenly resources and these are available to us these resources are available to us through the holy spirit but these resources are available to us and god says you don't have why because you don't ask you don't ask because so so we need to ask god for the resources um to to do the job to do what god has called us to do and it says he will empower you so it's quite fitting that I've got Bud Light here. Here, so we live in a world which is kind of quite focused on um, and and quite imaginary in terms of the the people having superpowers and super this and super that, and we kind of think of oh that's what we need to. Oops, oops, they've fallen over. Oh dear, maybe they're not quite so super after all, eh? Uh, so, um, but we're kind of obsessed with the world, which is you know the thing about having superpowers or being super strength. And um, and that's, that's what's important in life is having strength, having money, having the you know having all these kind of things seem to be the the issues that are really 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 important. Well, first thing is this is actually this, is that God, will it, he, his resources are unlimited, they are available to us, and he will empower you and me. He will empower you and me if we ask him. Uh, I was reading in John's Gospel just the other day, and, and it says about how um, he said about how um, because he did what the Father he, he loved the Father, and he did what the Father did. He said the Spirit was upon him un, in an unlimitless fashion, something like that, or un, the Spirit was upon him unlim, you know, unlimit, with no limit. And if that's available for him, that should also be available to us. It's technically feasible for us. We just need to live right all the time um but the spirit without measure that's it the spirit without you know boundless um unlimited and god empowers us how through his holy spirit through his spirit he empowers us with strength and is that a strength like yes we read about in in the old testament about samson the god because he took a nazarite he had a nazarite vow he didn't which meant he didn't cut his hair he didn't drink alcohol, or supposedly didn't drink alcohol, um, although we know he did at times, um, that actually he had this, if you like, superhuman strength. But actually here it's talking about how God will empower you, what with? Inner strength. Inner strength. So that we could be able to, you know, at the end of all these things that happen, at the end of all these trials, all these tribulations, what? That we will be able to stand. This quiet strength. That even though people might be criticising you, even though people might be slagging you off, even though people might be persecuting you, that actually, with that quiet strength, you have to say, I love Jesus, I'm following Jesus. I know in various parts of the world, I know um, friends talk about things in India through, through our connections there with Ampart and PTL, 
talk about how people are persecuted and they're persecuted for the faith and they they put pressure on and they try and and they they, they hurt people to uh, to make them to to renounce their faith but i'm glad to say that many have that inner strength with them which is not a strength of their own it's not just being them saying like i will do this i can do this no it's being empowered by the holy spirit to have that inner strength to to to, to be able to stand against adversity to stand against difficult times to stand even though we're in the midst of the storm, even though all kinds of stuff is blowing around, going on in us, with this quiet strength, that inner strength, to be able to stand. And at the end of everything, to stand. And this is how one of the ways that we can show that our people that our faith is real. They can look and see all, all the things we're going through, but still, we're here and we're standing. We're not yielding to the pressure. Why? Because we know that in the end, ultimately, God is good. God is good. God loves us. He has a plan of salvation for us. And one day, one day we'll be with him. One day we'll be like him. One day we'll see him as he is. Talks about these lighter momentary troubles will be part, will be gone. We'll still, you know, they'll be in the dim distant past. And we'll be there with Jesus, with, with God the Father, with the Holy Spirit in heaven. So I would say to you today, seek the Lord. If you, if you need strength in areas, if you need something, ask him. Because he's got unlimited resources. He will empower you because he's a good father. If you ask him, he will give you good gifts. And empower that inner strength by the Holy Spirit that you can stand. Let's pray today that you and I, me, each one of us will be able to stand for God, stand for truth, stand for life, stand for righteousness, in Jesus' name. Listen, hope you have a great day today. Take care, God bless. I'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday, and I hope you have a brilliant day. Amen.